You may know him as The Real Deal, The Big Shamrock, Superman, Shaq, Shaq Diesel, it goes on and on and on. Now you'll get to see another side of Shaquille O'Neal. One of my favorite Just tunes. Just work it out. Work, work it out, Robin. Work, work it out. Shaq Fu. Come the on. The four-time NBA <laughs> champion and three-time NBA Finals MVP is now an author. His new memoir, Shaq Uncut, tells his story. Why do you keep doing this from his childhood as a military brat to his larger-than-life basketball career? I had a chance to sit down with Shaq Alicious at his home. I just made that up. <laughs> down for it. 70,000 square feet? 76, but... <laughs> but, but who's counting? Right. I love it. Welcome to the house that Shaq built, located in Windermere, Florida. A Shaq-tastic wonderland, full of fun. This is the Shaq this Center. This is unbelievable. Are you kidding me? He's got the heat emblem. The blue one or the... I'll take the blue, please. Let's see who can go the longest. One, two, three, go. <laughs> I used to do this one when I was little around the neck. Let's go. <laughs> but life wasn't always a day at yes. Playa del Shack. Wow, that's you? Yes. How old were you? 16. Growing up a military brat, he frequently changed schools and had to make new friends. He struggled to feel comfortable in his own skin. I've always thrived on uniqueness. You know, my mother always told me, make him remember your name. <laughs> no matter how, make him remember your name. <laughs> Well, guess it pays to listen to Mom. He retired earlier this year after 19 seasons, 15 All-Star appearances, and four championship rings. But it's his life off the court as a pitch man. Shaq is suffering from taco neck syndrome. Part-time cop, philanthropist, not to mention his colorful personality, which made him a household name. And now he's adding author to that impressive list with Shaq Uncut opening up for the first time about fun, fears, and foes. Kobe Bryant, a lot has been said over the years, Shaq, about the strain in the relationship that you all have had. How would you describe your relationship with Kobe? He's a, a tough guy. I felt, you know, with Kobe, it was too hard, too stressful, too much arguing. Kobe hands it to O'Neal. But you did write in a book that at one point you wanted to kill him. Yeah, that's because, I mean, that's how I felt. That's how I felt because, you know, he said something after we had agreed not to say anything, and that's what it was. But every time I see him and his lovely wife and his lovely daughters, hey, it's Uncle Shaq, how you doing? And that's how it is. And hopefully we will be remembered as the greatest one-two liquor punch. I love the story when you're in L.A. It's after practice. You see a Bentley dealership. Well, I... <laughs> I was in I was in raggedy gear. I never really wanted a, a Bentley, but it was a it was an older guy, and I was like, uh, "Sir, how much does this cost?" And he looked at me and he said, "Can you afford it, Sonny boy?" <laughs> so I bought three of them. <laughs> Today he could buy the whole dealership. Oh, always wanted a red Ferrari. You can have it. Take it. <laughs> and in fact, it looks like he already has right in his own garage. Show you how good I am, good uh -oh. morning, America. Oh. Home court takes on a whole new meaning when you're at Shaq's. Try a 20,000 square foot court in the basement. Oh, man. Watch this face. <laughs> got a oh! got it, I got it. <laughs> you got a Hall of Fame for him. Can you get that one? You give me any situation and I'll give you a Shaq name. Shaq on the golf course. Uh. Shaq Nicholson. Shaq on vacation is? Shaq Apoco. <laughs> Yo, Shaq! One thing that is not a laughing matter for him is his 2009 divorce from wife Shawnee admits allegations of infidelity. You were very honest, I will say, Shaq, about uh, talking about your past relationships and saying that you were a man who had options at that time, being in that world. But yeah. you said you didn't think you were being disrespectful. I, I didn't quite understand that. It's a man thing. I can't explain it on the camera because it's like a man rule. I don't want to give up the man coat. Today, there is a new woman in his life, live-in girlfriend Nicole Alexander, known to reality TV fans as Hoops. Yeah, nice. You know, we have great times together. We, we laugh together. Would you like to see Shaq now? May, may I please? Yes. 
This may be a backyard in our world, but here in Shakapoko, complete with a life-size Superman. Would you expect anything other than this? Shaq may love to have fun, but he's also serious about life after basketball. First mission, becoming a doctor. Now you're working on your PhD. Once I get that degree, we're not answered to Shaq anymore. Be Dr. O'Neill. Seriously. And you have to, well, not you, but everybody else will have to address me as such. Shaq will no longer be answered to. For example, call me Shaq. Hey, Shaq. Shaq. Uh, Dr. O'Neill. Hey, Robin, how are you? Nice to see you, nice Dr. O'Neill. Oh, you already, you already <laughs> yeah, got that down. Yeah, I got it down. Wow. <laughs>